Dude, I have a lake trout coming up. There he is. There he is. That's awesome. Hey guys, we're off fishing uh, lake trout today. And I want to show you something here. This is the EOYO underwater fishing camera 1000 TVL with DVR in it. So it looks like this. I don't know if we're going to see any sea turtles today, but uh, I want to check it out. They sent it to us, so I want to give you a little review. I'm a, always been kind of an aqua boo guy, but camera comes in a nice case like this, which is which is pretty handy. Always nice to have something in a case like that. It's always banging around. And uh, with this, we have the screen um, kind of built into the, the frame here. Right off the bat, one of the things that maybe turns me off a little bit is all the moving parts. Uh, I like the simplicity. I'm already kind of <clears throat> a tangled mess most of the time, but we got camera cord and kind of the, if I can get it out. This is kind of like the, <clears throat> The battery pack control center has got a battery tester on the back here, which is pretty nice. You can turn the LED on and off, um, but we have to match up all these cords right here. So that's, um, <clears throat> thankfully they're labeled, but I imagine over time, power, imagine over time that uh, those labels come off, you could have some trouble. Especially if your name is Matt. So that's all hooked up. I'm just gonna record everything we do on the camera here. See what I mean? A little, a little too, move, too many moving parts. But the price point is 220 bucks on Amazon. If uh, if we can get this thing to operate, comparable to Nakavu, it might be worthwhile. There you, there you guys are. Camera's pretty heavy duty. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's for like. Uh, if you're trolling and pulling this behind. So we got the camera. For this um, demonstration, you can, it looks like you can hook this up and uh, hang it different different ways here. So if you wanna hang it from the side. I'm gonna go vertical right now, just for how I'm fishing. Uh, I'm fishing in, uh, let's see, we're about 60 feet of water, but it's really clear. We should get good visibility down there. Just gotta check my flags, make sure nothing's up. All right, one thing I noticed right away is this, ca this camera cable is super twisty. And I got all tangled up. I can drop down my Akubu cable straight down, no problem. But maybe it's a thinner grade camera cord here. I don't know. So things were already tangled up. I don't need that. But we're going down. Let's see how far we can get down here. Maybe after you use it a few times, it'll straighten out. Well, that is it. All right, I'm just reading here about it. The camera cable length looks like they sent me a 15 meter. So it's 15, 30, and 50 meter uh, options. This is a 15 meter, so I'm down like 45 feet, which isn't quite deep enough for me here, but we got it down. It's recording. I'm going to drop a, let's see if I can drop something down. Let me show you what it looks like. Check out the camera quality. Okay, line's going down. Record it on the screen, so we'll see when my jig goes past it here. There I am. Hey, that's good clarity, though, right there. I mean, I'm down right there. I mean, I'm in a clear lake, but that's probably right there. It's probably 10 feet below the camera. If a giant lake, lake truck comes up here, we're in trouble. All right, what other options we got in here? You can watch the video back on here. There's LED lights, like a whole bunch of different LED lights. It's got eight gigabyte SD card included. This camera does pop out right here, so you can remove the SD card and check it out on your computer. That's pretty fun. I would say this is handy. Once it's set up, <clears throat> this is handy right here. Or if it was off to the side, sometimes we'll drill another hole and face it towards the, the bait. I do like a vertical view though. Once you do get into the uh, the camera, sc the screen here, you do have a bunch of different options. You can check out uh, brightness, <clears throat> chroma, contrast, reset. 
video, format your card, record, record audio. It records audio. Huh. The camera records audio down there. That'd be kind of cool, actually, to hear what it sounds like when something hits your bait. That's a plus. I don't know if it make a noise or not, but so there you have it. Bunch of different options on the screen here. Definitely something fun to play around with if you're not moving a ton. Your kids would thoroughly enjoy this. I love fishing with a camera. I just think I'm more mobile. This is not going to be like something that is beneficial to me, but camera seems like a good quality. Everything seems to be working here. We're going to check the playback when we go home, make sure it's recording right. And the price point is like $220 is way cheaper than any other like name brand camera you're going to find. So if you're looking at giving a camera a try, like you just want to check it out and see if it's something you enjoy fishing with, <clears throat> this could be the perfect camera for you. I think going from something like an Aquavoot to this, you might think, ah, this is too much, but everything's got their pluses and minuses. So um, you guys make the decision. We'll put a we'll put a link below so you can check it out yourself and see if it's worthwhile. But there it is, EO Yo E Yo Yo. That's kind of a cool name too. That's probably a plus. Check them out. Thanks for sending us this camera, and uh, I'll make it back to fishing. One other, um, what I would say, negative or con would be having to reel this camera cord up like this. 45 meters of me. Dude, I have a lake trout coming up. There he is. There he is. That's awesome. Guys, I'm reeling up the, the line here. I'm just going to pull this up and see if that lake trout will hit now. He's still coming. This is not the ideal way, but I want to try to catch this fish. I mean, that lake trout. See, that is why camera. If you, oh, he's coming up right now. Come on, buddy. I mean, I'm so far up. Getting to see the lake trout come up was definitely a bonus. So that's why even with something like that where maybe it's not the most ideal camera the excitement of actually seeing the fish what it's doing down below that's pretty cool he really liked chasing that silver though maybe i'll change to uh something silver